today, 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 we got the dirty, the dirty, the dirty episode, y'all. So make sure you get ready because it's going to be a good one. We got the legendary R&B hit maker, song maker, motherfucking Mac Jovi in the Ooh. building. Yeah. <laughs> we would we would hit the Alexa, play Mac Jovi, but she's taking a dump on us today. So, <laughs> But hey, I'm sure that uh, our man's got some uh, Mac Jovi hits we can put on for you. So yeah. stay tuned. Stay tuned. Episode number 30. Appreciate you having me, bro. Man, thank you for coming. We've been sure. we've had this in the in the mix for a little while. Uh, it's a banger. It's a banger, man. The whole the whole fucking the whole sum to fuck to. I was listening to it before you came. Yeah. I'm like, man, I gotta I gotta get ready. I gotta digest this shit before he gets here. <laughs> That's my favorite project, bro. That's like my favorite project I ever done. The literally like if y'all haven't listened to it. Front to bottom. Yeah. Something to fuck to. Literally, something to fuck to. Whether it's moans, whether it's whether it's quickie, whether it's fucking whatever whatever song you start out at, yeah. it don't matter. The end goal, hey, you need deep mm -hmm. and some coochie. That's that's the end goal right there. We're gonna, <laughs> we gonna, we gonna hit the airplane mode on these motherfuckers so they can't cut us out. Boom, bam, boom. So you brought, uh, I told y'all he was gonna be bringing Geno 4X. But he didn't bring him. He brought us another blessing. Yeah. Who who do we have the pleasure of uh, <laughs> calling you today, sir? Men visuals. Men visuals. Men visuals. So you got an Instagram, right? Yes, sir. So we'll we'll make sure we uh, tap in. Make sure you uh, go follow him. We'll drop uh drop his social media accounts all in the fucking uh, description. Make sure you don't you can't get lost. There ain't nowhere to get lost to if we nope. telling you where to go. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. like fucking GPS. If you don't listen to fucking GPS and you are traveling. <laughs> And you get lost, that's your own fucking fault. <laughs> Trying to fucking help you. It's there for a reason. So, just like this shit. It's there for a reason. Mac Joby's here for a reason. Yes, sir. Bro, I have, I had a Priest Holmes. I had a Priest Holmes running back. And I was, uh, I was excited to show it to you because it was, it was sick. It had like the 75th anniversary tag, but. Uh, you know, I love the jerseys. We sold that motherfucker at Vintage Damn. Fest. Sold it. Gotta get your money. <laughs> but just like Terrell Davis. This this man's running through the competition as well. Yes, sir. So he's on all types of shit. Spotify. He's on fucking Apple. And if yep. you ain't heard Apple, and the man's got tons of bangers, at least three albums and some features on there. Yeah. Uh, we got nineteen. He brought out Return of Mac Jovi. Yep. Two thousand twenty. He brought out two pieces for us. Grown man shit and something to fuck to. So yep. make sure you go fucking listen. Go subscribe to his channel. Go follow him on the fucking page. Go throw <laughs> some comments. He's got a lady, but hey, you can still fucking follow. You can still, you can still show love. Yeah. It don't cost shit. Zero dollars to fucking comment and show some support. So go do that shit, man. Yeah. You following all these fucking whack-ass rappers these days, <laughs> whack-ass artists. Follow some local fucking shit. Follow some local talent. And then Visual's another local man doing some yeah. straight dome piece videos. So yeah. I appreciate that. My number hey, one videographer right now. You already know. Yeah. That's, that's the man to go to. Yes, sir. Just like we the 99 Jersey plug. He's the fucking video plug. Yes, sir. And the music plug. <laughs> so don't miss. We fucking giving you the outlets where they got a whole extension cord. Don't fucking miss. Plug all that shit in and get, get it going. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, it's, it's a blessing to have you on. Appreciate it. And you. if you haven't already seen this hat, he's got tons of options, tons of colorways. Yes, sir. Tons. And oh, I'm talking boy. about fucking tons. Yeah. Literally, like 2,000 ton, 2, <laughs> pounds worth of shit. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Tons. But yeah, we've been connected for a couple months now. Yes, sir. Dude supports heavily. I can't. I can't say there's no <laughs> other. There's no other description of Mac Jovi and 99 Jersey Plug. Yeah. The dude just supports heavily. We've been fucking trading some pieces. Mm. He's the jacket kind of sewer. The man's mm. got probably some of the illest jackets I've ever yeah. fucking seen. Yeah. You know some some Bro, straight. I, I probably spent like. Two thousand dollars with hey, hey. <laughs> like, I probably spent like two thousand dollars with this guy. So everybody who's fucking who's uh watching his music and listening, hey, I, I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you. <laughs> I'll come shout with the thrift plug, man. Hell yeah. Yep. So just had a set with Ron P. That yep. was that was that was lit. Yeah. You seen that? I didn't see it yet, but, but I, uh, uh, I I seen Ron P kinda uh post about it. Yeah, it was pretty dope, bro. I like Ron's whole setup. Bro, um, he's I just I just met him. I didn't know he did music. He's the godfather, bro. He huh. 
he, like, I'll be honest, he's the one who inspired me to kind of get into podcast shit, kind of get my fucking foot in the step and, you know, what way I want to go with it. And, yeah. Man, he literally, when, I, when it first started out, he was bringing me XLR cords and all types of interfaces and all types of this. And I'm okay. fucking learning learn software. And it was just so overwhelming. I'm like, fuck, dude. That's dope as hell, bro. Like, yeah, he got a real dope personality. He's, yeah. Real clean environment. Like, real well put together and stuff like that. I, yeah, I fuck around, P. Y'all watch his show, man. Yeah, and go and shout out his wife, Cher. She, yeah. uh, went to school with Sheridan. Dope-ass chick. She's fucking, she's got her own little hustle. She does business-type shit all the time. So the apple don't fucking fall far from the tree, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So... If you need a little fucking, you know, little, they got like custom little like uh, keychains and shit. Mm. So if you got a daughter, you got kids, you got sons, get a fucking keychain, get it made locally, put that shit on your kid's bag, put it wherever. You know what I'm saying? Either way, just go shop local. Like this mm. man, shop local, listen yeah. local, everything. That's, man, I can't I say. barely buy like name brand and stuff anymore. Like, yeah. Going to any store and stuff like that. Like I come here first. Like, either we in here or in the thrift store. Like, no cap TV, he ain't lying. I'm, I'm, I'm all about the vintage clothes. He is not lying. Yeah. The only thing you know, I wear is fuckboy. And shout out to my man, Green Beans. Bernie. I yeah. Got I got you, man. <laughs> so, Mint and Visuals. How long, uh, how long have you been uh, doing, like, videos in the area? This will be my first year first doing year? music videos in the area, but I've been playing with the camera for about 18 years. I... Videotape, skateboard, and all So that. some longer than some of you motherfuckers been alive. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and the work shows for it. It definitely man. does. Man, he's dope, man. Like, drone shots. I think I've seen, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm following your page. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Yeah. Mm. Definitely underrated out here. Yeah. Oh, we, we finna change that in yes, a major way. We change yeah. that in a major way. On both parts. He's helping me and I'm helping him. So. Hell yeah. Yeah, we both gonna change that. Mm -hmm. Man, helping helping each other. Uh, you recently just helped out Becca, baby. Yep. Kind of put some put some uh, put some of your Mac Joe. We fucking touch on her fucking yeah. late night album, and yeah. the shit was a fucking banger. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't watch it, I'm fucking my wife is pregnant because of that fucking album. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. go listen to the motherfucking shit. Yeah, Becca is real easy to work with. Um, I was trying to get her over for the longest at first. She was uh kind of giving me the run around. She like, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. She's and so I'm, busy. Yeah, she's always she's busy. So busy. So I was like, okay. I was like, look. I said, you got a dope sound, but I said I can add something different to it. I said I can bring your music style to a whole nother level. She said, okay, I'm trusting you. And she came over. Uh, we did a feature. We did deeper. And um, she had another idea for the song, and I rewrote it for her because. Um, once she heard me sing on it, she was like, maybe we should change the whole song. Yeah. So I was like, okay, hey, let's do that. And then I changed the whole song up for it. And next thing you know, we had deeper, man. You yeah. ever, uh, you know Mark Ingram, right? Mark Ingram. Mark yeah. Ingram, he's a football player. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he always says this, uh, this like, this like quote, phrase, you know, big trust. Mm -hmm. So pretty much, you know, Becca, she yeah. let you big trust, you yeah. know, big trust. And, and then I end up writing like. Probably like six or seven songs on the album. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that. Like I said, that deeper. Uh -huh. That deeper was probably the song my wife got pregnant. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not I gonna love lie, deeper, you know? bro. I love deeper. Bro. Yeah, it was. It was the whole album was a fire banger. Yeah, like, but there's there's some songs that I'm just like, oh my god, man. yeah, I gotta fucking put yeah. this shit on low volume. And, I can't have my kids listen. And to this I shit. love working with her because she listens. Like she doesn't argue. She like, well, let's try it. Let's do it. Like I'm down to try. It. Let's yeah. do it and see how it sounds. And everything we did, it just clicked. And yeah. she just, you know formed it and shout out to becca baby man where where the next project we ready to work on the next one so back to up. back <laughs> back to back yeah, hit me up just like back to back oh go ahead no, i'm taking off oh y'all here oh, yeah. yes nice meeting you yes yeah, nice meeting you yep. everyone have a good one right, hey man. mitten visuals y'all go yep. tap in like i said i'll drop his social media i'll drop uh he's got a couple pages so yep. make yep, sure yep. Yep. i appreciate you yes sir yes sir thanks for joining us yeah i did yeah. I'm gonna go the other way so I don't mess up the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this exit out is so funny. You gotta keep that. Oh, we keep it all. We don't, we don't, we don't cut shit. Everything gets fucking and everything is thrown out. All, all right, right, bro. Call me, man. I will. Yeah, right. I'm doing. Yep. You too, man. So, yeah, man. Mint visuals. If Mac Joby says something good about somebody, trust that shit. Big trust. Yes, sir. Big trust. Yep. Yeah, it's my homie, man. Actually, I, I like building a friendship with like people I work with too. So it's not always um, just about the videography work or like 
just because I do music. We're not always together right. just shooting videos. Like the other day, I went over there and I was fucking chilling with him. And he teach me how. To, he was teaching me how to make an edible. Damn. Yeah, he makes edibles. Dude, I love edibles. <laughs> you fuck, you, so you fuck with edibles? No, no, I just want to make them. Oh. I just want to make them. Like, I, I, I don't do no real worms, bro. Know. We make the We make the illest gummy worms. Okay. So, yeah. like, so how you do it, you pretty much, I don't know, what, what kind of edibles did y'all make? We were making the uh, marsh, the Rice Krispie Treats? Rice Krispie Treats, yeah. yeah. So, we did the marshmallows, and then he took, like, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then he did Crunch Berries, Cocoa Puffs. And, slap, yeah. slap. Yeah. Cereal bars will get you fucked up. Yeah, so. I was like, we when we started learning how to make edibles, that was like our first time. When I was sitting there looking, I was like, dang, so people really pay a lot of money for that. Oh, Maybe yeah. I should get into the business of making edibles. Yeah, there's money in that shit. Yeah. Because you can, you can literally, so like gummies, you can take mm -hmm. a $5 batch of gummies mm -hmm. and easily make 100 with it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So like gummies, you only, you, you're, you're only using... Two, three dollars okay. of fucking product for each batch. So what do you put? All right, so I, I, you know, I don't know too much about marijuana yeah. and stuff, but so I know that you got to use the butter for the. Um, you can use whatever you want. You can so use what butter, you, yeah, tincture. You, okay. You can use uh, fucking oil. You okay. Can, there's, there's a variety of ways to to do it, but tincture is like, so like we got this tincture we made with like alcohol. Mm -hmm. So like you kind of combine uh, weed, combine like a hundred hundred plus proof uh, liquor. Kind of connect it, let it fucking chill, let it cook down, and like once it's done, it's, it becomes a tincture. So like, say, say this is like you know a little candy. You got a little mm -hmm. fucking a whole batch of these candies, and you love this particular candy, mm -hmm. but you want it to be like THC filled with it. Oh, okay. You put that tincture like a little dropper. Boop boop. A couple more drops. You really want to get fucked up. Boop boop. And then you literally just let it dry, and it's fucking a THC candy now at that point. And it's an edible. Yep, an edible. Whoa. Yeah, there's there's tons of ways, bro. Tons of ways. I just learned the, that shit. The cannabis industry, bro, like, I'm a huge fucking fan because I'm, like, a connoisseur of it myself. You yeah. Know, as you can see, I, I smoke. We make fucking pens. We make carts. So you do I, all this stuff yourself? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. I have I have help, you know, a little bit of help, you know, with hey. myself. But, yeah, we do it right in the kitchen. Right well, in the I kitchen. I never knew. See, I'm, I'm thinking you just a thrift plug. Now I'm learning something else. Oh, no. We do weddings. I'm an ordained minister. You know what I'm saying? We did. Huh? Yeah. So if you know anybody <laughs> looking to get married, you know what I'm saying? You save yourself. You get a uh, fifty dollar fucking uh, referral fee for anybody you recommend. What? Hey, I'll put that on. Put that on my kids. J Palm Services. Go hit me up on Instagram. J P O M. Jacob Peters Ordained Ministry Services. That's what it stands for. So hey, go check it in. Go tap in. We've done five weddings so far. I'll travel to you. This we, dude do everything. For real. I mean, That's but it's crazy. But you got to be diverse. Yeah. You know, you got to be diverse as a hustler. You got to be diverse as an artist. And, you're right. You're and, right. And, and, you know, you're not just an artist. You're yep. a fucking creator. Yep. You're a director. Yep. You're a fucking, you're a dancer. Yep. You're a fucking creative genius. So, yeah. in a sense. And most people don't know I have my own medication delivery service. <laughs> called Cold Deliveries. Yep. I got a medication delivery service um, that I deliver medication to nursing homes. Hell yeah. Yeah, facilities, yeah. I've been doing that for like five years. This man does a lot of shit. Yeah. We're here for the music, yeah. but you see as as a fucking person, you know, like, I've already known her from the jump. Yeah. You know, you're a, you're a fucking dope-ass human being. And, Appreciate you know, it, I'm, I'm, ple I'm, I'm blessed to fucking, you know, kind of link up with you and... Hey, everything happens for a reason. Yes, sir. Everything happens for a reason. Shout out to Sean Hayes, you know, for putting me on. Yeah, that's, a, that's, man, Sean is the only reason I know this guy, man. Bro, <laughs> Deshaun is like, I, I, I tell his ass all the time, he can sell water to fish. He can sell water to fucking fish. I call it Sean Neptune. Yeah. He everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. He, he, he kind of motivates me in a lot of ways to, yeah. you know, whether it's like photography and kind of upping my posts or upping this or just, you know, just kind of being, you know. Just tapping in and what you, what you really love to do, mm -hmm. you know. And Sean actually connected me with Becca. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. connected the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, connect I didn't find out about Becca until I seen that video. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Becca actually wrote me first after she she said I heard about you from Sean, and she wrote me on Instagram maybe about three years ago. Damn. Yeah. Small world. Everything yeah. everything connects. I'm like, sorry, Facebook. I said Instagram, Facebook. Three years ago. I feel like yeah. everything just connects, you know, for a for a reason. You yeah. Know? Like Deshaun. I don't know. I've I've met I met him initially through, I didn't meet him, but I knew mm -hmm. of him through uh, a buddy. They were playing football together, and they're like, "Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he was a beast." I man. know Hayes. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. fucking cold as fuck. He went to the fucking uh, you know big shit. Mm -hmm. He was doing uh, he was playing for the Sting, won a couple championships. He blah, was blah, blah. a beast, bro. Yeah, like, so I was like, damn, you know, I ain't never heard of him. So mm -hmm. and then I kind of you know I'm familiar with him. I'm seeing his posts and shit. 
he kind of taught me all about, hey, you got change in your pocket. You better check that shit. Mm-hmm. 1963 or 1964 or below for quarters, you know. You got yourself a winner. Real silver. Yeah. Yeah. It's a 73. <laughs> hey, it's only worth a quarter, but hey. It's a 73. <laughs> you know? So you can do a lot of shit, you yeah. know. Is there anything you can't do? Can you speak Spanish? No, I didn't take Spanish, man. Man. I so, didn't take Spanish. Is there any classes that, like, back in school you wish you would have took? Yeah, like, I, I really wanted to take the French course. French? I really, yeah, I really wanted to learn French. Because of the because of the ladies? Or yes. What? Yeah. That's that. That's funny <laughs> exactly. you said it. I wanted to take Mandarin for the same damn thing. I'm like, oh, you know, I was I was really attracted to, like, Chinese women and shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, I, I love me some Oriental women. <laughs> Asian porn and shit. Yeah, all that shit, bro. All that shit. So, Asa Akira, fine self, fucking, I remember Alexis Amore, so, sexy self, growing up, yeah. So, so I was, I was kind of into like the, you know, the Oriental women and like Asian women and stuff. So I was like, oh, let me take Mandarin. Let me try to take Mandarin. Let me see if it's, you know, one of them classes I can take. Didn't end up getting it. So I ended up, you know, doing gym class, but I'm like, man, I'm so glad that I didn't take Mandarin. Like just thinking back to it now, like I would have failed that motherfucker so yeah, bad. Yeah, like, see, that's the only thing I'd be scared of. Like when I'm ready. Like, when I was really trying to learn a different language, like, I couldn't understand it. Like, you, you get, like, some words, but you can't understand it and speak it, like, fluently. Yeah. It's, like, so hard, but, shoot, watching, like, people like Kobe Bryant, yeah. like, learn oh, different yeah. languages to speak, like, to his teammates. Talking shit to, yeah. to fucking Louis Scola in the Olympics yeah. and shit. Mumble m- mentality and shit. Yeah. yeah. He had a, another teammate, I forgot what his name was, Venezuela or something like that. He was speaking French to him. Oh, damn. Yeah, he was speaking Charlie French. Charlie Villanueva? Something like that. It was like one of them guys. Yeah. I can't remember it, but it was like 2010, 09 Kobe. Yeah. And he was talking to his teammates and calling out plays in their yeah. language. That's crazy. That mama mentality, mama man. Mama mentality, man. R.I.P. Kobe. Yeah, I try to keep that always. You know, it's crazy. I was speaking of Kobe. Mm-hmm. So what's kind of cool is, you know, my wife is pregnant, mm-hmm. and, you know, I've had this name that I wanted to name, like, I wanted to change my name back in the days, from Jacob to Jacoby. Okay. So, like, we, you know, we're having a, I think we're having a boy. I'm not, yeah. I'm not for sure, but I'm, I'm, all the signs point to a boy. You, know? you already got a daughter, right? Yeah, we got two girls, two okay. girls. Yeah. And, uh, I told <laughs> her, I was like, we're naming this motherfucker Jacoby, mm-hmm. you know, so, and it's, it's funny because now it has, like, more of, like, you know, if you hear it, it's like, oh, shit, you named him after Kobe. Mm-hmm. You know? No, but he's going to have that. Got that ring to it, yeah. yeah. But it's like, yeah, it's just it's just one of them catchy little, catchy little, uh, you know, names and shit to me. It's, I've wanted that shit forever, and it's just more more iconic now, you know. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, so Jacoby. Yeah, that's not a bad name. Yeah. yeah. Jacoby. Uh, I'm just, whenever I have a child or a son or somebody, I'm just going to name him Javon. Javon. Yeah. That's my name. Right <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Call him Jay yep. Junior. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just it's just crazy, like fucking you know trying new languages and just mm-hmm. just yeah. French is French would be your pick though. I would I would pick French definitely. Have you ever been to like Germany? No. All right, so crazy story. I was in the, I was in the military, right? I remember you told me you was in the military. Yeah, I was in the military, yeah. and uh, one of my one of my NCOs, Sergeant Shorter. Mm-hmm. Shout out Ron Shorter, dopest fuck dude, was like a dad to me. Uh, Ron Shorter, he was actually in Germany, and mm-hmm. he's like, you know, the one place, because he was talking about, you know, like, where all he been, where all, you know, what's his favorite, where would he move if he, you know, got out and shit, and, uh, he said, Germany, if you are a black guy, you'll have the fucking time of your fucking life. Really? Yeah, the, the women there just flock to y'all. They, yeah. they, they just flock to y'all. So... Yeah, that's that's one of them places. You definitely gotta take a trip. You know, take a trip with the wifey, so she so yeah. she ain't so she ain't feeling doubtful. But I, I definitely want to go out there and do music. Yeah, that's all I want to do. I, I definitely want to go overseas, like Dubai and That'd Mexico be dope. and China. Yeah, want to do music. I heard they love us over there. So. Just to have just to have like all them fans everywhere too. Yeah, you man. Know? They support us more than my, our own though. Yeah. yeah oh, so, for sure. Which is crazy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I just think a lot of a lot of I, I don't know if it's like a lot of like. Other creators, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know if they feel like just like the pressure and like the competition, and they can't, they can't, they can't deal with it, or mm-hmm. if it's just like I don't, I don't know. Sometimes you know, everybody, everybody, especially like in my city, man, everybody's in competition with each other. Yeah, like, it's everybody against everybody. It's just crazy. Like you got cities like Flint and Detroit <laughs> that a team up 
and everybody support their music, and then we're listening to their music yeah. instead of our own. Like, we need support, people. We need it to keep going. That's the that's the problem. Like, people look at like, well, how is Atlanta and L.A. and New York and stuff on and stuff like that? Because they support their people. Yeah, they thrive. They thrive for it. Die hard fans. We fight each other. It it doesn't make sense. I don't know. That's why that's why I think you know FGP is important too. Just because you know, just to kind of showcase the talent. You know, like 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 the Mac Jovies of you know. There's only one of y'all, but mm -hmm. you know, like the artists that are coming up who sometimes. Well, it's not like for you. You you kind of you got that exposure. You guys, <laughs> y'all. If y'all ain't seen his fucking YouTube videos, man, this yeah. shit is like some fire ass videos. Yeah. So I won't I won't even say like if you want to get the exposure, but it's like you know I I see it as like. It's just a way to just collab and teamwork some shit, mm -hmm. you know. Like I want to get all every single fucking follower and every single fan of FGP to fucking listen to Mac Jovi. You know? Yeah, they, I appreciate they, that. They need to listen to some to fuck too. They need to listen to fucking uh, every single album on there, whether it's you as an artist or whether it's the shit that you're doing, you know, for the community. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, that's that's what's important. Like you said, you know, support locally, not just oh let me let me download a shit and don't give a fuck, you know, anything mm -hmm. after that. No, fucking listen to the shit. Yeah. Okay, come out to a show. You know, fucking listen, you know, if you're speaking somewhere or something, you know, come out, mm -hmm. you know, that's type of shit, you know. And that's why I'm I'm behind, like, uh, Gino so much and, like, I'm supporting him. I'm showing him I believe in his dream and I'm pushing him and I'm getting everybody else to listen to him and stuff like that, too. That's the thing that we lacked. Yeah. Is the we didn't have that guy. We didn't have that guy. We didn't have a godfather like you trying you know? to put, put on, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm behind him every step of the way. I help him with like his gear, his you know, his music, all that type of stuff. Like I really don't need help with his music. Right. Like, he got the talent. Right. Oh him. yeah, he, he sounds like a fucking like like a professional. Like he's yeah, been yeah. doing this shit. He's better than most rappers are yes. yeah, anything like that. So yeah. And he's that's dope. why I say like fifteen years old, bro. I, I just look at him, you know, he's like a young bull just fucking just grinding right now. And you could just tell he's in my opinion, he's set up for success because of, you know, the, the tools that he's got in his bag, you know, like mm -hmm. to be able to do a video with, with some hype shit, you know, that's, 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 I feel like that's mid-level to the high levels, you know, mm -hmm. before you're getting at that point. And he's already, what, 15? Yeah. So it's, he'd be 16. It's scary. It's no, scary, like you know, for, for everybody else. And, you know, that, and, and that's not, that's why I say like collab instead of compete. Yeah. It's, it's not a fucking competition. Yeah. So if you see Gino, Gino 4X, you see Gino 4X and you're like, damn, you know, he's a young dude. I'm not going to be able to fucking do shit. No. Tap in with him. Maybe, maybe fucking, you know, create a song. If you're, he's if you're, getting reviews. Yeah. And it's like, like the same shit with Mac. If yeah. you, if you can sing, if you are making music, if you've got something to say, if you tap in, I'm sure you ain't, everybody ain't got to make a song of fucking, you know what I'm saying? He's got some shit he's going to fucking, he's got other shit to sing about, other shit yeah. to say, you know what I'm saying? So Love, pain, heartbreak, yeah. all that stuff. All man. of it. You're right. So, yeah. I, I caught a little contact there, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's whiffing. It's whiffing, man. It's whiffing. Yeah. But man, fuck boy fall, like I said again, go, go tap in and yeah. go check it out. Go yeah. check it out. The song is out there. The, oh, the man, visuals man. Is, is, is insane on that one. Definitely one of my favorite songs. Yes. Something to fuck to. Sing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That one and uh, what what was the other one I fucking wrote down? We gonna get to it quickie. That one. That one was that one's probably my favorite along with love scene. Love okay. scene was like I think my second oh, okay, favorite. Okay, yeah, love my, scenes is dope, man. My second favorite and 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 uh, quickie was there. Quickie, I, I got inspired. Uh... By like the R. Kelly vibes, yeah, like, I love. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't dis you know really agree with what he did or whatever, but you know what I'm saying. But his, you can't lie that this guy's a genius. And I know just what you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I know just what you need. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's yeah. genius. Nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, that's nineties baby making music. Yeah, that's bro. The I'm only telling thing you. I'm trying to bring back, man. Just that love making. Are you bringing it? Music. That's you bringing love, it. Man. This shit's it. on the fucking, this shit's out on a platter for these motherfuckers to eat. It. It's yeah. like whether they go hungry and fucking starve, that's yeah. on them, bro. That's on I them. Appreciate that that's shit, on man. them. Yep, yeah, I appreciate that shit. Definitely. But yeah, he's got a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of music on, on his, in, on his, in his discography. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So if there's, if there's one song you like, there's going to be more. Yep. And the good thing is he's local. He's a local talent. Yep. I can't say this shit enough. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna tell me, you know? It's a lot of a lot of local talent people around here with industry. 
sound. Yeah. A lot of them, like Becca. Like Becca, you got Becca, Gino, HBK Boom, Tay Rowe, Bank Road G, Gnarly Ray, Fast Cash D. You know, all these other artists. You know, Melody B. Like, so many. Yep, Fresh Rich. And that's why you should fuck with Mac, because he supports as well. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of artists like, hey, I, I want my fucking, I want my shit. Where's my ticket? Where's my ticket? Yeah. But they, they, they're not, they're not, they're not doing shit, for, you know, for anybody else. They're just looking for me, me, me. And like, sometimes you, you really got to just, you really got to just network and just fucking just meet motherfuckers and collab. Because it's like I say again, over, over and over and over again, stop thinking compete. Stop thinking competition. Collab, collab, mm -hmm. collab, not compete. Get that shit in. We all in the same spot. Exactly. There's enough fucking food to go around. This <laughs> is fucking all trying to get to the same Golden place. Corral. We fucking we got endless trips. Just make sure you get a glove and touch that plate first. <laughs> you know. Yep. But yeah, first uh, the grown man shit. I was like the intro. Ooh. The intro. You don't normally have intros that are like. Oh shit! Yeah. You should have changed this shit to like something else. The fuck! This ain't no intro. You Shout out to Bankroll G, man. Yeah, you put intros in the yeah. category of, you know, maybe a little bit of talking, maybe a little of this. No, he straight snapped on this intro. So appreciate it, bro. Another one, grown man shit. Go fucking check it out. It's yeah. on Apple Music. You already got the shit. You're already paying ten dollars a month for the fucking shit. You yeah. got six hundred fucking gigabytes free in your phone. <laughs> Go fucking, go delete that fucking Katy Perry. Go delete that fucking, you know, those 90s Justin Bieber. That's not the JB we want no more anyway. And go fucking get yourself some Mac Jovi in your fucking content. Yeah. Hey, go do this shit. Bro, man, shit was dope, man. I, uh, we actually came about that in a Fresh Rich uh, basement. Me and Bankroll G, I had did a feature for him. And then he came over and did one for me. And then we were like, bro, you know, we sound real good together. Why don't we, uh, why don't we try to do a joint album? And he was like, I'm with it. And, um, we got done with that album within 10 days. Damn. Like, we was on it every day. Some Future and Drake fucking shit. Stay, stay until that shit's done. 10 days, bro. Damn. And like, me and G got more. We got a, we got grown man shit, too. Just sitting. Oh. It's already done. Just sitting on ice. <laughs> it's already so done. So y'all better make sure you fucking <laughs> to tap in. We just trying to figure out what we gonna release. He might drop that done. shit before the summer. Yeah, he yeah. might drop it a 4th of July. Yeah. Hey, he might wake your, make your ass wait till Christmas. <laughs> but hey, either way. It's there. That's the, that's the, the, we were just talking about that shit earlier. That's the beauty of like having shit on ice. Cause you, oh, yeah, definitely. You keep the fucking, you keep the expiration date. It don't matter when the fuck that shit Bro, starts. I record literally like every day. Like it's songs. I got, I got videos like, like, um, Mitten Vision was just telling you in the garage. Like he was like, I'm yeah. just waiting on Javon to drop. I got videos like in the vault, like just sitting there. Like we got tons of music, like Damn. just sitting, like ready to release. I'm going to just start dropping like crazy, actually. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna start dropping a video every week or something. Damn, mm -hmm. that's that's yeah. some that's some Kanye shit. You remember yeah. that shit? Good I really Friday. Do that. Yeah, you remember I that, do shit? that shit? Yeah, that shit was lit. It wasn't even a video. It was Kanye songs. Kanye is definitely a big inspiration in my life. Yeah, that's what I was gonna kind of dive into. Is like, so Kanye, same. You know, like he's he's one of them. I feel like he's one of them pioneers who just put 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 it put it out there that hey. This is what you, what, what laughed, I'm gonna do. They and you're laughed fucking, at him. Yeah, like five years ago in that interview on the Breakfast Club when he was talking, and he looked like he was homeless with the fucking clothes. Yeah, they was laughing. Yeah, they laughed at him. I mean, this dude owns Spotify now. Like he just bought Spotify, like I think what a, a week and a half ago, one point three billion. That's insane. He's worth over six billion right now. How the hell you got more money than Jay Z? He helped you start. Hey, if you don't like. <laughs> Shoes, clothes, if you don't if you don't like Kanye or like some of the shit he does and you just like are anti Kanye. I watch everything Kanye. This song, Ho, is for you. You're such a fucking ho. I love it. Yeah. Dude dude is like a fucking Definitely a role model in my life. Yeah. So who would be like uh you know, your your musical inspirations, you know, like kinda put you, you know, made you kind of who you are? Bro, I I I just told Ron P this like when I was growing up, it was more of my my father. Yeah. Uh, my my father died four years ago, but I think it was more my father and my mother because they both were singers. Yeah. I'm and, sorry um, to hear that. I appreciate that, bro. And um, after that, they just like mainly started putting me like in talent shows and everything and stuff like that. But is that where the singing came from? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my dad was a pastor, bro. He was like a beast at singing. And my mom, she sings well. Like my whole family sings. Damn. And um. 
it just started like getting into like more talent show, leading songs at school, church choirs, and then you know, as you come up, man, you start listening to like R. Kelly, like I said, and then I, I was really big on like the Omarion phase. Oh my god, the yeah. D2K, like I got I was, this ice box <laughs> all that my shit. heart used to Omarion be. was my idol coming up. I wanted to do everything he did, and then Chris Brown came. Yeah, Chris Brown and their own. Yeah. I was just trying to do what they did. Man. Yep. I don't even dance no more. But I used to try to do. But you still got the moves. They yeah, I still got. They don't go yeah. away. No, they don't. They go don't away. go away. And I, I, I just like listen to. I used to do like everything Chris Brown did. I can, I could do like the routines of most of his videos, all that type of. I was just studying. Right. Him. And um, but I, it, you don't want to do it too much because then you try to like be exactly like him. Right. Right. So I had to get away from that, and then I started writing my own music. About it's a funny story. I started writing my own music probably about like four years ago. Yeah. Like, I couldn't write. Was it right around when your pops passed? No, no, no. Like, I would say, like, right before that. Right before? Right before that. I think, like, the first song I wrote was called To Be Honest, and it was about an ex-girlfriend. And, um, I couldn't, I couldn't write to save my life until that breakup, I would say. And Sometimes I really, that shit does yeah. do it, so, like. And I just start putting words on paper, and I'm like, damn, this shit pretty easy, you know? You get a melody going, then you start writing, and then I just started coming out with more stuff, and. Came out with songs like I came out with these songs. I, to be honest, it was called "Bitch Bye." All this stuff. It was like a lot of anger, a lot of fucking yeah. Yeah. So I just a lot started. Of pain. Yeah. Like, that's that's what makes the best music when it's like yep. it's storytelling. You and know. Then, and then it just started getting better and better, man. I moved down to Georgia for two. Well, I went to New York first, and then I went to Georgia, and I stayed down in Georgia for like so two from years. So from Saginaw to New York, and New York to Georgia. Yep. And then I started um, working with artists uh, down in Georgia, like I. I, I I met Jacquees before he like oh shit expanded yeah I met I was in the studio with Jacquees uh, what's 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 the what's the what's the main song he did Ved yeah and then um it was another guy named Avery Wilson he's uh he was on a, um I think it wasn't American Idol it was something else back X Factor or something he did that and then um I was also in the studio with Carrie Hilson I walked in seen her in person bro beautiful as beautiful shit. beautiful as fuck I bet beautiful as shit like no makeup on she yeah. I was just looking at her like. Damn, but um, yeah, I, I had my um encounter with a few celebrities and they heard my music and stuff too. They just told me to keep going, man. They told me I had it, so they weren't uh, lying. Ever since then, man, I picked up my own studio. I built my own studio in the front room of my house about three years ago. Bought a computer. I made the um the uh, window for the booth out of a dining room table. It's sick. That's yeah. the, that, it's sick. <laughs> the room is, he showed me yeah. a video. I haven't seen it in person. Yep. Maybe I'll go there and fucking, you know, spit a little, little dicky flow or some <laughs> shit, you know? Yep, I did that and then I, I put the drywall up and then me and my brother painted the walls. So I do need to come shop. I do need to come shop. Oh yeah, man, definitely. Then uh, I had um, the contractor come over and he told me what he could do and stuff like that. I built that room. I, I probably spent about eight, nine hundred dollars. Yeah. And I got it like that's cheap for fucking how bro, flame it is. Yeah, bro, and it's like it really works. It yeah, just, you hear the music. It's, it looks like a fucking studio, like yeah. like on like uh, what would you say, uh, Empire. Yeah, you it's know, real chill. Yeah. yeah, you just walk in there and see. A lot of people don't know this. Um, most artists now, even in the industry, barely go to the bigger studios anymore. A lot of them got home studios. Right. Everybody, it's just easier. You yeah. can constantly record. I seen Chris Brown um, post something like a few months ago. And he said he built it. He built his studio room away from the baby because he had just had a son. Right. And he uh had an, like a room. It was like in a bedroom. And he had like a home studio with the interface and the speakers and all that type of stuff set up. And I'm like, man, people really be recording at home now. So yeah, nobody cares about the big studio, all the racks and stuff like They're that. They're gonna listen to whatever you gotta say. Yeah. You know, if and the quality is good. So. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So. But yeah. So, so four years ago, you kind of just started making, you know, writing music. Yep. And, hey, I can only fucking cheers to the next four. You know Thank what I'm you, saying? Because, <laughs> hey, if this, is, if this is fucking just the beginning, I'm, I, I can't wait to fucking yep. see this motherfucking finish. And shout out to uh, people who inspired me to write, like, um, Dontrell Tinsley. He used to write for me, like, all the earlier music that I had. Just make sure you. I'm. I'm yeah. gonna ask you. Uh, send me. Send me all the. Uh, the shout outs and stuff. And I'll oh put, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll put all that in the uh, description. Yeah. Uh, Dontrell Tinsley. He helped me. Um, develop my craft. Shout out to him. 
Um, and then my homeboy James Owens Jr. He goes by the real Jim. He's uh, actually a producer for um, Angie Stones, like when he played on the road with her. Angie Stone. Yeah, Angie soul Stone. singer. Okay, like okay. D'Angelo. Yeah. And music soul child. Eric Benet. He he did a set for Eric Benet once. Like, Those were some drums. classics. Yeah, man. Area. He um, that's my best friend. He uh, actually helped me develop my writing style and creating music. He he actually taught me how to use. The studio and everything. So, right. Yep. Shout out to the real gym. So. When they say it takes a village to raise a child, man, <laughs> you you had a, you had a fucking village of fucking just. Oh bangers. yeah, bro. It's it's funny, because I can take you back to even when we was in high school. We all went to Arthur High School. Man, um, I'm the hardest hit. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm talking about Arthur Hill shit. Yeah. <laughs> so Arthur Hill, we all are at the Arthur Hill, bro. Like um. It was a few few of my friends. It was like uh, me, and it was Jim, and then I had it's this rapper who's also a singer. He goes by the name of Bishop GQ, who's he's also my cousin, and then it's another guy named OC. He called himself the Big O, and we all were in the same grade at Arthur Hill at the same time. Now you know how like people are basketball players and yeah. football players, and they're the stars of the school. Right, right. We were in choir class and the stars of the school. Right. Like so That's how that's how a couple man. people were at our school. Choir ain't no joke. Yeah man, walking you gotta around, wake up early as shit. Singing to all these girls and stuff like that. And the funny thing is, is to this day, every last one of us are still making music. Everybody, Everybody was in the choir? You can find yeah, you can find anybody music right now on iTunes and it sounds good. Damn. But the only thing is that um O C and uh Bishop, they don't sing anymore, they rap. Right. They're rappers, but they're good at it. Like yeah. they're real good at it. But sometimes you might hear him do a little melody or something. But me and Jim still sing. So. Yeah. And he so, produces and everything. So, so speaking of uh, iTunes, mm -hmm. uh, for like all the kind of artists out there who are kind of just like tiptoeing, you know, in that line of like, okay, should I put it on iTunes? Should I just keep it on Spotify and Pandora and mm -hmm. all this stuff? What do you? What do you? What do? You, what, do you, what would you say? You know, to those artists about iTunes? Definitely, I, I, I would just like me personally. I deal with distro kid. Um, DistroKid gets your music on every um, streaming outlet. Yeah. So iHeartRadio, uh, Napster, yeah. um, Pandora, like you said, iTunes, Spotify, they get to your, your music on every one. I know a lot of people like using the SoundCloud because it's free and right. stuff like that. But if you believe in yourself and believe in your talent, I recommend that you get on iTunes and let the whole world hear right. your music and try to get to it. Because if you got Apple, yeah, that's that's. I mean, you got iTunes. Who wants to get in there and try to find your stuff and like look? You know, yeah. Just type it right in on Apple or Spotify just, and find it. If y'all don't have Apple or if mm -hmm. you don't even think about getting it or you, you are tiptoeing about getting it, man, it's mm -hmm. nice. Like you could just just play the whole Mac Jovi fucking, uh, you know, Distro discography, too, all that shit. Distro Kid helped me out a lot too. Promotion. Yeah. It's only you get. They got um, different plans. They got like a nineteen dollar plan and then. They got a thirty dollar plan and a seventy dollar plan, but you only pay it once a year, and you can release your music. Seventy dollars ain't shit to invest yeah. in yourself. If you if you pay the seventy dollars, you can release your music at any time. Yeah. When you want to, whenever you want to, short notice or whatever. That's dope. Gonna release it for you. Yep. Is that is that what you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's worth it. Yep. Invest in yourself. You never overspend if you invest in yourself. You got it. You got to invest in yourself. You got to believe in yourself. Being an artist is not cheap, and that's the that's the the big word about it. I'm not a singer, I'm not a rapper, I'm an artist. Artistry, artistry takes time, money, and like a lot of creative thinking. So that's what I do. The shit ain't for everybody. No, nah, it's hard. That's why I, I mean I I came up with this list like two years ago about sagging on top artists, and I got a lot of heat from it because yeah. a lot of people weren't on it. But the key word was artists. Right. I'm not talking about rappers and stuff like that. You know, anybody can rap. We had guys that were in the lunchroom rapping, beating on the table. They were good, but they weren't artists. Right. Can you make a good song or can you just rap? Right. That's what artistry is. Yeah. Making a good record, having a dope image. Having you know, a hook, having a sound. Yeah. The intro, taking yeah. the intro and making it next level. Longevity. That's what artists are. Artists aren't. Just people who can spit bars and all that type of stuff. No, nah, you, if you're an artist, you will always be remembered as an artist. Facts. Like a mogul. That's what an artist is. 
Facts. Listen. <laughs> giving you free game. Yeah. Man, free game, FGP, episode 30, yeah. Mac Jovi, M-A-C-J-O-V-I, Mac yes, Jovi. Yes, sir. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Search it up. Search it. Listen to his music. Download it. Show some love. Appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate you coming on, man. Hey, anytime, I appreciate bro. you coming on. Yeah, I'm bringing Gino back too, man. He's Hell in yeah. Texas right now. Gino Forex, we got you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, fucking uh, funny story. So when I was uh, playing against Arthur Hill, so what, uh, what high school were you at? I was at Central. Central, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at Central. Yeah, you guys were one of our rivals too. Yeah, we used to <laughs> whoop, we used to whoop that ass like forty one zero like bad game. So like the hardest hit that I've ever gotten was from Arthur Hill. Okay. So I remember fucking uh, Jacob Lashinsky is our quarterback. He fucking who hikes it, fucking throws that bitch to me. I fucking you know hit like this across the middle. I got hit this way and I got hit this way and I fucking flip, bro. It was felt like my whole world was fucking. What over. year was that? That was two thousand. That was sophomore year, so two thousand eight. Oh yeah, I was there. Yeah, I was there. Ooh, we had some hitters back then too, bro. I, I, I never. I fucking, Ooh, that might have been. Oh man, that might have been. Um, but I had one Alexander of the, Ford. I had, I had one of the cleanest fucking uh block us uh, like jukes on uh, uh when I was at fucking against the Arthur Hill game. Yeah. Central was good. You guys don't like Western much, huh? Fuck no. <laughs> Yo, Western like used to be like our like rival, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I remember one time we had fucking came out, came to the school. Mm -hmm. There was corn shit, like the corn, like the yeah, yeah, kernels, yeah. corn kernels, all through the fucking hallways on every single floor, all through the steps and shit. It was like, what the fuck? Like they call, they call it like you got chucked, you got corn. Oh, chucked. okay, yeah. We're, we call them corn chuckers and shit, mm -hmm. and they like make a joke out of it. But yeah, they, they've uh, there's been like dead wolves and shit on our football field, or like dead like like husky, or I don't know what. It, I don't know if it was a wolf or a husky, but they had like. They put dead animals and shit on our football field. Like, like a real dead dog? Yeah. Who would kill a dog? Yeah. It's it. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. I fucking hate that. So, like, whenever I would go there, man, I'd always, like, piss the shit on the floor. Like, <laughs> just, just <laughs> fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. I, hate, I hated the Western. The kid, I, used to, I used to hate Saginaw High like that, but we ain't never used to, like, go that far. Yeah. I hated, yeah. I hated the motherfuckers. Yeah. I uh, hated it. Definitely gotta do those trades. The what? The trades. Oh, we're gonna. <laughs> we got we got some trades brewing outside. Yeah. We're gonna talk a little bit of sports, a little bit of uh, some news and shit going oh, on. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely a little sports. Yeah. Go. So, are we, are we talking basketball? Uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit of it all. We got the basketball games coming up. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't know much about football and stuff. Hey, that's all right. I'll we're, try. We're here to inform. We're here to inform <laughs> and educate. Uh, Philip Adams. Did you hear about him? Ex ex football player uh, killed his doctor. I seen that. I yeah, fucking that. crazy. Killed six people and killed himself. Uh, they're supposedly they're they're trying to fucking you know get his brain and get it tested you know for like uh you know uh, TBI and all that all the I, I forgot the forgot the uh, technicality of it, uh, the but it's like a brain brain swelling and shit. Ooh, okay. Aaron Hernandez actually had it. Okay. When he uh when he killed himself, they actually did like a uh, autopsy and shit. So they're saying that like from his brain swelling caused him to cause have him suicide to do, thoughts. Yeah, or so it it causes like you know I don't know it's. Now you were in the army. Yeah. Like, what do they what do they call it? PT PTSD. Yeah. You know. Is it something like that? I don't know. I mean, it's okay. it's it's probably close. You know, everyone gets different forms. You know, okay. like. For example, you know, like my PTSD, it kind of just like is like blood. You know, like whenever mm -hmm. I see blood, like I puke. You know. Oh like, man. Yeah, so it's like. Even when you like get the doctor getting a shot or something. Nothing like it's gotta be like boom! I cut my shit open. And it's fucking really bleeding. Or like, ah. Or like we watched a fucking TV show, uh, Your Honor, and like this kid was like puking up blood, and like I'm like, all right, right, right. Oh, you don't like fake shit on TV either? Yeah, bro. It's like the just the set. Oh, you can't watch a Freddy vs. Jason film or anything. But huh? it's like I don't know, like how I haven't tried, you know. But oh, I, shit. I never, I never fucked it, you know, with uh, you know, blood like until like after I was deployed and shit, you know. But seen a lot of shit, or it was just like this one incident, you know, like uh, it was just fucking crazy. Like mm. we fucking seen a Matt V. It's like it's like an armored truck. Yeah. And they literally just had fucking just blood all up in that bitch. It's like. That's oh, crazy. Shit. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, Philip Adams. 
Yeah. Kills himself after killing six. Uh, what the fuck? You know, it's crazy. They got to check his check his brain. Hopefully, hopefully uh, he didn't do too much damage. They can still you know see the CTE. CTE. It's like uh, that's what, that's the name of it. CTE. CTE scan. Yeah. Gotcha. It's like uh, they check for like um, some some portion of like. So if you got like uh, swelling or some shit, it makes you like have like, I guess like uh, aggressive aggressive behavior. Ah, okay. Yeah, and then there's like parts of the brain, like if it's like swelled up, you literally, like your memory is gone, or mm -hmm. like your sensitivity is gone, or like your your uh, second second guessing like emotions and shit are gone. Yeah. It's crazy how they can tell like what is what, you know, mm -hmm. like how like boom. Okay. They can tell a lot of stuff. It's crazy. Won't tell us stuff. Yeah. That's crazy. For sure. Yeah. Aaron Donald, you know, uh, defensive tackle for the Rams. Okay. He's facing legal trouble. He beat some dude's ass outside of a nightclub. Him I and, seen that. Him and, him and, him and the homies uh, stomped out a fucking dude. <laughs> dude's pressing charges. Uh, of course he would. He's going to try to get rich off of oh, this. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, Aaron, Donald, Aaron Donald's known in the Pittsburgh area. You know, he's a high, high celebrity there. You know, he's fucking, he went to college there. He does a lot of charity work there and stuff. So, who knows what's going to happen from that. Um, eight Anthony Davis for the Lakers. Yep. Preparing, preparing to come back. Can't wait. I'm a yeah. big Lakers fan. LeBron. A lot. Of, a lot of people are saying back to back. Definitely. But I don't I know about Brooklyn. Okay, so. I, okay, this is how I feel about Brooklyn. You gotta be. They gotta be 100 percent healthy for me. Like, yeah, I think they're all gonna be um, ready once playoff come. I really think. Kyrie, Kevin Durant. And James Harden are all good players, but I don't see them win the title with all their egos. It's a lot right. of egos in that locker room. And then... Or do they put it aside to win? Yeah, Blake Griffin. I'm not worried about Blake. He's a bum. Yeah, but then I, I feel bad, too. LaMarcus Aldridge. Dude, yeah. we're just going to talk about that. Yeah, I feel we, bad We, we won't talk about that right now. We're, okay. we're, we're going to dive into it. That shit sucks. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy. That sucks, but that's he was unexpected. a good piece. He was a good piece. Unexpected. Yeah, I, I mean, that sucks, but... if it's, I mean, I'm going with the Lakers. Yeah, I'm going with Brooklyn. Brooklyn, over oh, there. shit. Yeah, you know. Oh, so man, what's up, man? You're yeah. on the right page, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're we're gonna have to make a little bet. <laughs> but a say, uh, you know what used to be a safe bet? Uh, Flash, the fucking the man himself, Dwayne Wade. Yeah, just took a stake ownership in the Utah Jazz. I've seen that. Yeah, that's a Kanye one, move. Yeah, one, Any, anything like that, I'm calling it's, Kanye. It's dope. Move. It's yeah. dope. You know, it's like you're you're going, you're thinking next level. Mm -hmm. You're th you're always elevating. Now, I didn't think it would be that team. Yeah, it's crazy. I thought it'd be I Miami. Could, yeah, I thought I, it'd be Miami like, like, or even Chicago. Yeah, because it's yeah. from there. Yeah, so Utah. But I think if Jordan Jordan probably wanted to go to uh, Chicago more than anything, they'd probably be a fucking stingy because they knew what the what they had. Yeah. Oh, we've gotten six championships. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dame time. Uh, hamstring injury still. Something to watch. Something to keep an eye on. He's uh, tweaked it in practice. I feel like every time he gets to that explosive level, where they're giving him the title, of, like almost giving him the title of the best point guard in the league. Yeah, because you know they still love Steph. It's scary. Yeah, I he, think Steph's the best. You still think? Yeah, well, yeah, Steph is good. Dame but is Dame the, is more aggressive. Yeah, he's yeah. Steph is the best. One out, shooter I think I've one versus seen. one. I think Dame wins. Yeah, Dame wins. Steph, uh, Curry's best, be, definitely the best shooter I have ever seen it's in my crazy. life. It's crazy. And I thought Ray Allen was right. Ray Allen's Curry, nice. Curry's the best shooter I have ever seen in my life. Jesus and, Shuttlesworth. And Clay is the second. Second best. <laughs> Clay is nice. Yeah. I, I, I still hate Danny Green for that shit for following fucking uh, Clay Thompson on the finals. Like, damn, you piece of shit. You knew that was going to be a fucking injury, you son of a bitch. You should have never fucking followed him. That should have been a flagrant. I don't nobody, know. Nobody says anything about this, but Danny Green got like back to back rings. Didn't anybody notice that? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he got back to back rings, I think. Sure did. <laughs> Lucky son of a bitch. Back to back, number fucking, uh, number one in the, in the league, Utah Jazz. Maybe that's why uh, you know Dwayne Wade's taking a role. Yeah, but I, I don't. I, I think I kind of think Jazz get knocked out second round. Oh yeah, I think so. Especially yeah. with Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, he just went down with the ankle injury. Yeah. Really? So yeah. So uh, oh, yeah. X rays were negative. Nothing. Something to keep an eye on as well. Oh. But the news that we were going to talk about, Lamar Lamarcus man. Aldridge, man, gets gets dude was a baller for the Portland Trailblazers. Baller, yeah. straight, straight shot caller. Yeah. Goes and fucking signs with a fucking big deal with San Antonio. 
was doing Dude, good over there for was, a minute. Yeah, balls out, still, still. Av- I mean, he wasn't uh, balling out the entire time, but dude was having a good year, back to back to back. The whole, you know, wasn't wasn't missing. You know, seasons nothing. Ends up going to Brooklyn in a in a blockbuster fucking move. We all said, "Oh my God, Brooklyn's about to fucking really win it." And in a devastating news, because of a fucking abnormal heartbeat, Lamarcus Aldridge has decided to retire and call it quits. I believe um, he did the same thing as Bosch, man. Yeah. Like, life is more important. I yeah, mean, you're, it is. You're, I mean, I mean, you may you may not have a championship ring, but you're rich. Yeah. You're you're well off. You ain't got to worry about another dollar a day in your life. Live with your family, man. Don't don't kill yourself on the court. Just go out really? there. You know what I'm saying? Start hustling in a different way. Start mm-hmm. playing. You know, be a sports anchor. I don't yeah. know. Like I mean, you could always could. be a sports assistant coach. Work people out or something. You know, Chris Bosh is loved. That 2003 class, they love that motherfucker. Yeah, man. That's be- second co- second best class of all time. Did Bosh get picked over? Um, he was third. He was after Darko. He was the first pick that could have been. Damn, he got picked after Wade and uh, Melo, huh? He got picked first before I think before Wade. Or maybe it was maybe. It was yeah, you're right. Wade. I think Wade was like fifth. Yeah. Yeah. Because Carmelo was uh, third. Yeah. You could have Melo, Wade, or Bosh. Yep. Without Darko. A lot of people. That, that's a, that's a good conversation we always have. Is like, would the Pistons have won that that title? If they drafted Carmelo, Wade, or Bosch. And some people say no. Some people say yeah. I think they would have still won. But the chemistry would have been different. I just think it would have been different enough to say that, like, they would have been a fucking contender longer till then 2007. Because 2007, LeBron just took the fuck over. Yeah. Um, It's kind of hard to say because the Pistons was in such a groove around then because they won that championship in 2004. They should have went back to back. Would they even fuck Robert Ory? <laughs> would they even have? <laughs> would they even have gave, um, Wade, Mello, or Bosch or Chance at the starting position with Chauncey Billups playing the way he was playing? Rip, Tayshawn, yeah, Rashard. It was like two thousand eight or so that they traded Chauncey to fucking ben- Denver for AI. And I was, was like, crazy I was like, oh my god, we got Allen Iverson. Yeah. <laughs> and then he beside, he was just like. Mm-hmm. A couple hit shots and that's it. Wasn't nothing. Was we even had Trace McGrady. Yeah, yeah. Had a lot of good people. You had Derrick Rose. Just to Trace McGrady. Us. Yep. <laughs> hey, Iverson. Crazy, right? But yeah, Chris Webber. <laughs> that's yeah. Eighty four, Chris Webber. <laughs> oh, <that's shit>. Still <laughs> wasn't enough. They, the they, biggest they, upset that I believe that the Pistons ever had was Grand Hill. He got hurt though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the biggest upset. Because he, yeah, he was. Because he was, he was giving Jordan problems. Yeah, he was giving Jordan and Penny Hardaway problems. I, 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 I tell people this all the time. Grant Hill was LeBron before LeBron. Strong, yeah. small forward, get to the rim at will. He was just a nice guy, but Grant Hill was definitely underrated. Grant Hill, people, people sleep on Grant Hill. Mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a big Grant Hill fucking fan. Especially those jerseys when he they if he got there they switched it to like the horses. And yeah, stuff. yeah, that, that shit was fire. sick. Shit was fire. Sick. I just I just sold a, a reversible that reversible one that I had. Yeah, I just sold that at the Vintage Fest. Uh, dude, dude, uh, I think his name was B B Mo B Mo Goods or something like that. Okay. Super dope dude. He's gonna he's gonna fucking uh, wants to come on FGP and shit. So no, that's good. Man. Yeah, he, he uh, yeah, it was it was cool. I met a lot of fucking dope people out there. It was, it was dope. Yeah. It was dope. It's kind of like me going to Georgia and, and, and me. I would have loved to came to that, went to that with you. Bro, See Holland. Stuff. Yeah. Come, to, come to Holland with me. When is it? Holland's the 25th. Of this month? Yeah. I'm there. Yeah, we're going to Holland, Michigan. Yeah. It's a little, uh, yeah, it's going to be lit. Is that what you sent me? That flyer? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. I just, like, we met, uh dude I met in uh, St. Louis. I met this dude. Uh, he's running an event in Ypsilanti in May. So May 22nd, we'll be in Ypsilanti. All those vintage shirts. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming to get them all. Yeah. I will buy them all. This man don't play. If you have vintage clothing. This man don't play. XLs, jackets, XLs, nice hats. Anything, you know, that you think I would wear, just let me know. Send it to me. I'll get it. He can, he can rock it. So, <laughs> I'll hey. get it. Yeah. 
Send them all the steals. Yeah. Send them all the steals. Send me all the steals, too. Yeah. I'll literally... come by from him. <laughs> Funny story. I yeah. fucking... So I'm outside. I'm, I had a dude come by. Uh, Luna, Michigan. I had him come over. And we were kind of just like trading some pieces and stuff. And uh, my neighbor comes by. He's in a wheelchair and shit. He's mm-hmm. like, he's got Parkinson's and all types of shit. I just found out. Fucking paralyzed from like the waist down. All types of shit. I was like, God damn. I was like, and so he just, you know, wheeled, wheelchaired over here and fucking, mm-hmm. you know, pulled up in the garage. Like, hey, you guys have any yard sale? I'm like, oh, shit. I said, no, no, no. I mean, not really like that. We're, uh, we, we have a little clothing, you know, clothing uh, stores and shit. So we both sell clothes. And uh, he goes, oh, okay. He's like, will you, will you mow my grass? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, if you can't, if you can't do it, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I'll fucking do it. And uh, he's like, yeah, my grandson, you know, he fucking won't do it. My granddaughter, she won't do it. Blah, blah, blah. And this wife, you know, takes care of him and shit. Cool dude, though. Fucking, mm-hmm. I was like, uh, I was like, you ain't got to pay me. I was like, mm-hmm. maybe you can throw me some couple shirts. You got any vintage clothes? He's like, I've got a ton. Yeah. Bunch of Dale Earnhardt. And I was like, hey, I'm about, I'm about <laughs> to be cutting grass every every week fucking for some t- t- t-shirts. I bet he does. Yeah. So, <laughs> NBA games. We got OKC at Detroit. I got to go OKC. Detroit is a fucking poo. I, I don't even know who plays for either one of them, y'all. It's crazy, right? Teams mm-hmm. have tr- changed up so much. I don't know. I don't watch any one of those. Pistons oh. got a nice little shooter in Ellington. Nice little three-pointer right there. I don't even know his name. It's like Bruce Ellington or uh, Wayne Ellington. I just know Blake just left and Drummond's with us. Yeah. <laughs> Drummond's with us? Where's Drummond? L.A. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lakers. Yeah. That's the problem. That's why I think that's, we're going to win. That's why. That was a big That was a big sign. That was a big sign. That was a he- big sign. Yeah. Um, what else you got? Clippers at Philly. Philly's been fucking nice, but Clippers are... I think Clippers are going to go to the Western Conference Finals against the Lakers. I believe they're going to get smacked, but you might be right. Yeah, I think I think it'll be like a five-game five, five five series, 4-1 Lakers. Denver just went down. They just lost Murray. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. They lost Murray. Murray tore his ACL. That's a big loss. That's a and huge... Murray, he put I, up 50. He put like, up 50 on your ass. Cook you. Cook you for a fucking nice little dinner. That's why I say Every time somebody start to elevate... And get that reckon, you know, like get recognized as like a dope player. Yeah, boom, something awesome. happens. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. How the fuck has LeBron been able to do it? Hey man, freaking nature. I yeah. don't know, man. That's freaking just nature. That's just what we do, man. Freaking nature. That's just what we do. Just like a fre- <laughs> just like a freaking nature's eye on. Yeah. New Orleans plays at Washington. Yeah. That's I, gonna be a good one. I'm I'm just I know Di- Zion's a beast. I'm just scared of his weight. I feel like he should trim just a little bit. It does scare heavy, you. Like, like damn, he's going to come on his knees. Like, yeah, so because he'd be in the air, Oh, bro. yeah. I think about it every time. So, yeah. cheers to your knees, man. I hope you stay healthy for the rest of your fucking career because, man, you're a big fella. I love Lonzo, too, bro. A lot I'm of people a, hate on Lonzo. I'm a big Lonzo fan. I'm, I'm a big, big LeVar. LeVar. I'm a big LeMelo. A LeVar fan, too? Yeah. I'm, All even that. Their, even their brother, LiAngelo, was dope. He, he should gonna, still be in the league. Man. He should still be in the league. They've not given I'm him glad a the, chance. I'm glad the Pistons uh, picked him up, but they did. They hold him right. They hold him. If they would put him on court, they would like be nice. Like we was talking about yeah, with the he Pistons. Would, he would be like a definite scorer. If, oh, yeah. If you do the research, he was the best scorer out of the brothers. Yeah, he was like thirty points a game, like in their high school. With the all the apples don't there. far fall, fall from the tree. He's he's strongest. He got the better defense. He has the better shot. Nobody looks at Leangelo, but he dope. Hey, shout out to Pistons though. Like I said, they signed fucking Weber. They signed fucking McGrady, Iverson. They even signed Jay Cole to a ten day contract. You remember that shit? Mm-hmm. That shit was sick. I thought I was like, <laughs> you lying, Jay Cole about that being a no way. So that would have been lit. If we seen J. Cole fucking hooping, that would have been that would have been crazy. Yeah. That would have been worth going to a game. He actually got game, game, though. Huh? He got game. Damn. Oh, yeah, he can ball. Mm-hmm. But the, all the all them athletes would kind of be, you know, allowing, like, the artists and shit to come play with them, and it's dope. You know, you mm-hmm. see, like, you see Adam Sandler fucking hooping. You see Justin Bieber hooping. Nobody had the career like Master P had, though. Yeah. He did Nobody. everything. He Nobody. did everything. He set that shit up like it was. Then he had, like, 17 Lamanca. points. Yeah. You seen the uh? Did you see like the recap of like that uh? The celebrity, it was like the no, it was, Lil Baby versus uh, who was it? Jack Harlow or something like that. Jack Harlow and Quavo. Yeah, Got Jack Harlow and Quavo. Yeah. Two chains and Lil Baby. Yeah, yeah. Ha! <laughs> that game was funny. Quavo yeah. killed that. <laughs> I think Jack Harlow and them won it all. Yep. Quavo and Jack Harlow was on the same team. We almost fucking uh, met, met fucking Jack Harlow and uh, seen him at the Blind Pig. For Yo, he's a dope artist. Yeah. He's a dope Super artist. Super dope. Very, very underrated. Yeah. 
I was like, I seen that music video. Fucking what's well, poppin'? Chris Brown? No, uh, it was when he was like in the little uh, booth and shit, the little deli. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one. Was I seen the one with him and Chris Brown recently. Like it came out like three weeks ago. Oh okay. Yeah, it was nice. But yeah, fucking forty bucks and they canceled it because of COVID. Wow. I know. So we got any we got any shows uh, for Mac Jovi coming in the future? Not not right now, man. I would love to do them, but uh, as of right now, nobody's booking an R and B singer. They're getting all the rappers. Right. <laughs> it's cool. You probably see me at some type of jazz event or something. Hey. <laughs> either way, we we in just the- know that you're not putting that rap shit on in the bedroom. Hey, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So sooner or later, man, I'll be back out there. And just like back out there, Zach Levine. He'll be back out there. They what play, that? They play Memphis. They play Memphis. Mm. John Morant, Memphis. That's going to be a high-flying ass game. I like I like John Morant a lot. I like John Morant and Zach Levine. Yeah. Zach Levine is underrated. Very. They talk about him only in the slam dunk. He should have he should have lost to uh, Gordon the one the second year. The second bro. year, you think so? Yeah. Oh yeah, them dunks were out of this world. Yeah, there's no. There's but, no they, I mean, but Zach did like he the did legs a, from the free throw line. Yeah, but it was just like you could have changed it up. Who did the legs to the free free throw? But it wasn't even the free throw. It was, it like was right damn inside. Near. Yeah, it was right inside. But it was like it okay. was far. He put in like it was nice, but like I don't know. I think Zach Levine like ran track or something. Yeah, he had to like oh yeah, he the strides are long yeah. as shit. That's crazy. That one foot is ridiculous. But you're right, Gordon Hayward was nice. All that off the side of him. Crazy. Yeah, it was dope. Yeah, I used to dunk myself. Yeah? Mm, I used to play ball. In high school? Yeah, I used to play ball. Oh, man. I could never yeah. dunk. Yeah, bro. I used to be like a real high flyer. Damn. Yeah. Would you say you... What what sports did you play at Arthur Hill? I just played basketball. Just basketball? Yeah, I just played basketball. Yeah. Yeah, I tried out for the basketball team my uh, my freshman year. <laughs> my freshman year and I got cut. They said because I I wasn't good with my left hand. I'm left-handed. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't solid enough on my left. They, Too they dominant wouldn't. with the left. Yeah, they wouldn't allow me. So that's dope. They allowed you with the left. Dunking on them. Yeah. They was getting out the way when I used to run towards that run. Hey, Mac <laughs> Joby's more than an artist, y'all. Yeah. And more than an artist, this guy's more than an athlete. He's mm. fucking tearing ACL. Murray, yeah. shout out. Hey. Rest up, man. Memphis, Denver plays Houston tonight. They're still gonna win because Houston's just fucking Houston trash. Is ass. They're trash right now. Yeah. They're, they're Why would play- they let go of Demarcus Cousins? Because he didn't want to be there. Oh, he didn't want to be he there. He hated that bitch. Ah. He wanted to be out. As soon as Harden left, he's like, okay, we ain't mm-hmm. doing shit. But he, he, I mean, he was looking at the fact that him and John Wall was back together. They had the career at Kentucky. Yeah, he mm-hmm. didn't give a fuck about that. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. He wanted to go to win. He's like, dude, he's doing shit. He's playing for every team in L.A. Yeah, and he's playing for the Clippers now. Willie. Every team in Willie. L.A. They, he says he's in the best shape of his life. Let's see what happens. Yeah, exactly. But on to Miami at Minnesota. Minnesota, Anthony Edwards is fucking a nice young talent. But Miami should win him. This Future of the league. Yes. For, I, hope for, I hope, I hope so. Edwards. I hope he stays healthy. Anthony Edwards is future of the league. Miami is, I think they're going to be right in the Eastern Conference Finals with Brooklyn. They got Oladipo combined with that fucking, that man's nice on defense. Yeah, he only played for Houston for like three weeks. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Houston got a good little amount for that trade. Um, Eastern Conference. I, I think I might go with Brooklyn and the Sixers, man. Sixers are nice. I don't see him winning past Brooklyn. No. That Brooklyn's gonna I don't see him. him. I, I'm, I'm just tired of people talking about the Greek freak. I'm like, he's just not able to fucking translate to in the in the post. Plus, his, like his to me, I don't see him having any growth. Yeah, just bust. He just he just gets fucking ripped more ripped and ripped. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's like a, like a strong ass grasshopper. Or yeah, something. Just, <laughs> he, he's got the length. He can yeah. definitely definitely score. Yeah, but. Can he take over and win games? No. We've yet to see it. Kawhi killed his ass in a year. The playoffs are coming, y'all. Get ready. Because the yeah. bubble the bubble is out. You know, the new, uh, they're saying if you are a six seed, seven seed, or eight seed, nine seed, or ten seed in mm. the fucking running, you're going to the bubble, and you're going to play for the fucking final spots. Mm. Yeah. So, it's so they're of, going back to Orlando doing it again? Yeah. It's kinda, I don't know where they're going to do it, but they're going to like that bubble, that bubble like, Thing. I'm like that's dope because yeah. you've seen players fight 
to fucking be in that bitch. Like, Phoenix yeah. should have won that shit. They should have been in. Phoenix is actually good this They're year. They're nice as hell. They might be to, in the finals against the Lakers, I think. Yeah, they are scary. Chris Paul. They are scary. Devin Booker got that Kobe mentality. Yeah. He's nice. Yep. He's young. It's crazy to think. Is that the last game? We got Portland at San Antonio. Portland I'm going is. Portland. Portland is, yeah. Melo is, is in too much of a groove right now, Carmelo. He's playing nice. He's, He's playing. And, and what's crazy is that everybody washed him out. Yep. Everybody. He was out the league for like half a year. Yeah, it was insane. It's like, mm -hmm. dude, do not let this dude fucking be done. They should have kept him at Houston. Yeah. Maybe they would have had a chance. Might, right. With him, Chris Paul, and Harden. You got to think about it. Him, Chris Paul, and Harden. Yeah. And then put in DeMarcus. DeMarcus might stay then. Yeah. But what could have been? What could have been? <laughs> But what could have been this young young dude is is one of the few faces of the league. Luka Doncic, they play New York Knicks. Dallas Ooh. is gonna win. Ooh, I don't know because Julius is really he's been stepping balling. up like out of nowhere, like his ninth year and just yeah. fucking taking the fuck yeah. over. Ooh, that's a hard one. That's gonna be a good game. Dallas is still gonna win, in my opinion. I don't know. What shows are you watching right now? What are some must shows they need to watch? Young Rock. Young Rock, that's a funny one. I've yeah. seen that shit. I've seen I the first love episode. It. I love Young Rock. Um, I'm really watching Young Rock right now. I hear everybody talking about Snowfall. Snowfall's a banger. Yeah. I was more of a power fan. Power is fire? Yeah. But I Tasha see, got some nice titties. <laughs> I love Tasha. I love um I love Ghost though. I like I like He's I'm, a genius. I hate that he died. Yeah. Um but I that, I was more into that power than the than a Tariq power. Yeah, but, Tariq. Uh, Tariq is he's scary. Yeah, he's a young. He's a young fucking. I don't even know. But he's dangerous. How, how, do you, how do you feel about the reboot of iCarly? I haven't watched it. I haven't checked. I, it I out. Seen, I, I don't even know if it's out yet, but I just heard him talking about it. Yeah, I haven't checked it out. Yeah, I was oh. a big fan of iCarly, Drake, and Josh Beckett. Oh, yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah, that was my shit. Yeah. A lot of people laughing when I say that. I'm like, man, you guys had no childhood, bro. Like. Who just wouldn't want to watch a show about a girl living with her older brother who was able to do anything she wants? Right. Yeah, that shit was dope. Big fan of iCarly. Yeah, I used to, I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching Shark Tank. Okay. I'm watching. Uh, what's it called? Law and Order. They got a new Law and Order out. Okay. So they got like. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Law and Order. I remember Law and Order from back then. I'm just. I like. I like shows like that. I'm just not really into reality TV no more. I yeah. let it go. Like the love and hip hops. The. Black Ink Crews and stuff. I just let it go. I used to watch too much Flavor of Love. Yeah. I was a big fan of Black Ink for Black a while. Black Ink's cool. I like that show. The Caesar when he was with Duchess and shit. I was yeah. really a really big fan of that. I like Miami show. Ink too before they had it back in the day. They had like Cat Bang, Van, Van Don or yeah. whatever fuck. I really watch cooking shows. Cooking. Oh. <laughs> like I, I watch Aisha Curry. i never seen hers. Yeah, she got like four restaurants. Damn. And then I watch Tia. Tia Mori. Like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch all that shit. I'm, I'm a mean, like big Hulu fan, so I watch Hulu, Netflix. I watch all that shit. Yeah, I haven't watched. I never watched any of them. Excited for Space Jam? I am. Me too. I don't know how it's gonna be. I don't want. I be think let it's down. dope. I think it's dope. It's not like Michael Jordan was, because you know Michael Jordan was the story of coming back from baseball to basketball. Yeah. But LeBron is like trapped in his world. Right. He's, he's trying to get his son back, so I think that's pretty dope. So that's what the story's about. Mm -hmm, something like that. He's trying to get his son to do. Like, stay focused on basketball, something like that. And then his it's already out? No, it comes out, like, um, July 16th. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. LeBron's been promoting that shit like crazy. I love LeBron. Yeah. There's a lot of LeBron fans out there. I like LeBron, but I like to see I like to see him just thrive in, in, in competition. Yeah. So, I was, I was definitely, I was, a, I was, I love the, I love that he won a, won a ring in Cleveland. Yeah. And I love that he won a ring in, in L.A. He's the best. Will All go, three teams. Will he go back to back, though? Yes. I don't know. Yeah. I see Brooklyn. LeBron, just, AD, and then the new Attic Peace drumming. I hope Plus, that, Kyle Kuzma's been playing. He has been playing lights out. And Struder. You play 2K? Yes. Yeah. We got Greeny. Greeny's probably the best 2K player we got. <laughs> yeah, he's sick. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah. Law & Order, Shark Tank. Uh, Black Ink. There's a bunch of shows. Make sure y'all yeah. watch them. Mm -hmm. And make sure you watch Mac Jovi. Hit him up on YouTube. He's got fucking... He's got a channel. Make sure you go subscribe. New hit videos the, coming. Hit the bell for all the alerts. 
Make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't just watch it and be a fucking weirdo. Hit the like button. Hit the fucking comment. Say, hey, that was great. Hey, made me made me come when I was with my husband. Hey, whatever. <laughs> it don't matter what you put. Put yeah. LOL. Put heart, heart, heart. Put a fucking something. And get your fuckboy merch. Exactly. Hey. Fuckboy hey. wear. Very explicit street wear. Yes. Yes. Do not. Get it. Get it while the getting's good. Before it ain't to be gotten no more. Episode 30, FGP, Feeling Good Podcast, yep. Mac Jovi, the man from Saginaw, the yep. R&B sensation, came and kicked it with us, man. I appreciate you for having me. Hell bro. yeah. It was, it, was, it was a pleasure, man. Pleasure, yep. pleasure to have you. Yep. Uh, be back soon. Oh yeah, he's family. He, yep. He'll be back soon. So he can get his own cup of water. You know, he, he, <laughs> he ain't a guest no more. Yep. But yeah, man, it's been real. It's been fun. Yep. Go check him out. On Apple Music, on all splat, on all platforms, you know, yeah. whatever you listen to on music, M A C J O V I, mm -hmm. whatever, man, do it, do it, or why not? <laughs> what do you, what else are you doing? Yeah, you're not gonna fucking, you're not gonna look up these videos all day. You got, you got some free time. Why are you taking a shit? Listen to that Mac <laughs> Jovi. You yeah. don't want to listen to it around the kids, cause I understand. <laughs> there's, there's some sexual lyrics. Yeah. So listen to it when you shit. Not for the kid. Listen to it when you shower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> listen to it when you fucking hit it. You know? That is the whole concept. Hit the play button. Put it by the pillow. You know what I'm saying? Do the thing. Do the thing. You know what mm. I'm saying? Hit it on repeat because the album's gonna be done and you're still gonna go. So hey, hit repeat. I promise you'll thank me later. You don't want to have blank silence. I mean, no one's gonna <laughs> no one's gonna care because you're gonna be too busy. You know, but at the same time, just keep it going. Yes, sir. And as it as it is, let's keep it going. We got some trades to make. Oh, yeah, man. definitely. I'm ready now. So, hey, <laughs> make sure you go subscribe to the channel. Go follow Feeling Good Podcast. It's been a real one. Episode 30 is in the books. Big 30. Big 30. Man, I, that's, a, that's a scary age. It's coming on me soon. I'm there. That's hey, it's, Damn, it's, I'm 30 now. See, a lot of people, a lot of people <laughs> like back in the day, they'd, uh, they'd be like, man, you know, th 20's an old age. And I'm like, man, you can't say that shit. We're going to be 20 one day. Yep. Like, hey, 30's an old age. Now, you can't say that shit. We're, we're going to be there one day. <laughs> you know, fuck it. Hey, mm -hmm. Old is however you fucking, however you make yourself feel. You know, you can, you can fucking still feel like you're 21. You can still, you can feel like you're fucking 40. However you however you look at the life is how how it's gonna be so so make sure you fucking get yourself get yourself you know get yourself right mentally physically emotionally all that shit man yes, sir. it's episode thirty we want you to to soak up all this shit and just hey enjoy it enjoy it all yes sir enjoy this local talent while we have him around before he fucking you know moves on up and heads the fuck out because not enough motherfucker support. He's yep. got to get all his fucking support elsewhere. So yes, don't fucking be that fucking reason. Help help Mac Jovi fucking reach the motherfucking top. Mac Jovi. Hey, FGP, it's been a pleasure. It's been I a appreciate pleasure. you, bro. It's been a pleasure. Let's do it. Hiya! <laughs> Let's go do these trades, baby. Let's go.